So if you're like me, you love barbecue, and in particular, on the Weber kettle. So you're probably looking for a great aftermarket kettle rotisserie attachment that doesn't break the bank. Let's dive in. Okay, now let's talk about why you would want a rotisserie in the first place. The Weber kettle is already very versatile, but rotisseries can add a little bit more versatility to your cooking. Barbecuing over charcoal is fantastic. And what a rotisserie does is utilizes a mechanism that slowly rotates your food over those hot charcoal coals, giving you great flavor, but also slowly cooking and roasting things for you. When used correctly, Rotisseries can make some of the most delicious food items out there. And if you have a large family, it's really easy just to slide things on the rotisserie and let the rotisserie and the grill do their thing. So let's talk about the rotisserie that I recently found and the things that I've cooked on it. And of course, I was real excited to have a rotisserie again for my Weber kettle, but I was a bit nervous because I didn't know if it was gonna fit my Master Touch Premium, which has a hinged lid, but it fits just fine. I've cooked everything on this rotisserie so far. I've done chicken, which came out perfect and crispy. I've done a leg of lamb, which came out so tender and fall off the bone. I've done little steaks like steak picanha, as well as an entire rump roast. I've even tried two five pound chickens at the same time, and it was able to handle it just fine. I haven't tried a full size turkey yet, but that's to come. So this rotisserie is made by Shine Star. It comes in at $90, and I think it's the same manufacturer that makes Only Fire. The official Weber rotisserie is usually on sale for $170, marked down from $250. There's many different manufacturers with different coatings, but I went with Shine Star. Now, I'm always very hesitant to buy things that aren't officially released by the company of the grill because I'm always worried it's not gonna fit or it's not gonna be very high quality and so forth. I chose to go with this company's coated version and not the stainless steel. They do offer a stainless steel version, but it is more money. And I felt that the coated version was already pretty high quality. Like always, I bought it from Amazon. My intentions were to get it, inspect it. If I didn't like it, return it, exchange it for the stainless steel. But I was really surprised to see that it was really high quality and it fit not only my original kettle premium perfectly, but also my master touch premium, which has the hinge lid. When you take the lid off, there's no gaps. I don't see anything that's bothering me at all. I've used it for quite some time and it's not warping or anything like that. And I've taken it to pretty high temperatures. And then the lid of the kettle goes right on top for both of them. And it has a pretty good seal. You're not, you can't expect like a perfect, perfect seal for like smoking or something, but it's pretty darn good. Also assembling the unit was really easy. All you really have to do is put the handles and then the attachment for the motor. And that was pretty straightforward. They give you the screws, everything that you need to attach those items. They haven't gotten loose. They don't seem to be affected at all by the heat. And they do give you lock washers, so everything's great there. And then likewise, the motor that they give you is actually really powerful. I was really happy with the electric motor. The rod itself, I know it's designed for a kettle, so they're probably saving some money by not giving you something too long that you don't need. But the rod itself does feel a little short and it's a little bit cheaper than I thought it would be. It kind of bends a little bit. I mean, nothing crazy. I've had chicken on there. I've had heavy items on there, but the one that came with Monument Grills, for example, my gas grill, that one's really heavy duty and really long. Um, I can tell that there's a difference, but also to be fair, the one that came from my kettle has a much stronger motor than the one that came from my gas grill, the Monument Grill. So the motor more than makes up for it. There is one more thing that I highly recommend you purchase, and I think a lot of beginners make this mistake. I actually made this mistake up until recently because I was just stubborn. Get yourself a weight, a counterweight for your rotisserie. You're gonna need a counterweight no matter what. And a lot of people make the mistake of thinking that the motor's not strong enough, when in reality, the motor's doing just fine, but your food is off balance. You don't want that slippage to happen, right? You want it to rotate evenly and make sure that you're getting an even cook and even char and 
a counterweight really does make the difference. This one's pretty cheap. I'll put a link below. I think it was like 10 bucks or something like that. It works great. If you don't want this, you can find other ones. There's more expensive ones. And then likewise, sometimes you might have to buy two, depending on how heavy the object is. Counterweighting is actually not that bad. Basically what you do is you put your foot on there and then rotate the rotisserie until it falls off and right and becomes unbalanced. And then, you know, find that spot again, put this in the opposite direction, whatever it may be. And that's it. You basically counterweighted. You can check it again. More times than not, this is more than enough. I've seen people double it up or even triple it up for really heavy objects, but it's such a small thing that makes a huge difference. Your food's gonna come out evenly cooked, evenly charred, it's gonna look professional. Invest in one of these. I don't think you're gonna regret it. Another thing that I wanted to mention is the coating. I talked about it briefly. There's a stainless steel version and I got the coated version. The coating's been great. It's not quite as durable as the Weber grill coating, but it's been pretty good. I've had no issues with the coating coming off or anything like that. So if you are considering the coated version versus the stainless steel version, I mean, I don't own the stainless steel. I think the stainless steel will be better no matter what. I don't like the glare though, especially when filming. Don't feel like, you know, the coated version isn't good or anything like that. It's, it's pretty good. Will this fit your 26 inch kettle or your 24 inch kettle or your Summit Kamado? No, it's designed for a 22. It's really hard to find larger sizes. So, you know, Rotisseries are one of my favorite things to use and utilize because it's sort of set it and forget it for the most part, especially if you have a thermometer monitoring everything. But um, yeah, they're a little hard to find for larger kettles. So it's also pricier. That's basically, it. I just want to share this with all of you. I'm sure the Weber version is high quality, right? I mean, I have no doubt. But for the price tag, I thought it was a little steep. So if you are looking to save a bit of money, especially if you're like me and you own two kettles, three kettles, whatever, then this is a great alternative. And they're not paying me to make this video. Uh, it's something that I bought and was just excited to share with all of you because it's, it's worked really well. I've had it for three months now, no issues. I probably do rotisserie, grilling, maybe like, maybe once a week maybe twice a week depending but pretty often so it's been used and it's been stored out in the back you know rain has gotten to it all that no rusting nothing like that the motor and everything else is safe but the actual you know dome is stored out it's fine the wood handles are a nice touch so overall pretty happy with it that's it for me guys if you found this video informative please consider subscribing and joining our channel memberships i'll catch you guys in the next one take care everybody